Hello everybody, I'm Zaris, your favorite Dragon Gamer, and welcome to the video. Uh, so, <clears throat> oh, I don't normally put voiceovers on my game replays that I show on YouTube. I just usually put them out there for people to look. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, maybe I'm a little proud of the videos, so I put them up there. Pr proud of what I accomplished in that game, whether I won or lost, or just got some good kills or a lot of them. So in this one, I got a pretty decent amount of kills while I was just trying to complete those Naruto Rivals challenges, specifically the Hinata one where you just have to catch a lot of fish. I knew I only had one last round of those fish to catch, so I just decided, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna not gonna mess around this game. I am catching as many fish as I can possibly catch. And I'm gonna tell you, People really didn't want me to do that in this match, so I am dubbing this the Angry Fisherman. So as you can see, I can, I'm going to maybe fast forward a little bit. I'm catching fish, catching fish, catching fish. Yeah, I only needed like 20 fish to get everything done. Yes, I did leave the grappling glove alone. I, I just don't really like them that much, to be very honest. I'm just not the biggest fan of them. That shark really did not want to leave me alone, by the way. Uh, it just kept hunting me that entire game. I thought I heard a rift, that's why I looked up. I kept trying to find like an upgraded fishing pole because they have a higher chance of getting like the harder to find fish and also like they have a chance of getting higher rarity weapons which at this point in time I was kind of needing I didn't really have much in the terms of weapons I had a purple striker pump shotgun but you know that's not really the most amazing weapon you can have uh, I was also, like, running seriously low on ammo, which made it very un inconvenient that the shark really just chose violence today. I don't know why it looks like a fly. Oh, there we go. Uh, sometimes watching these recordings, uh, these replays, is pretty laggy. Or, not laggy, but glitchy. So, I'm surprised. I won't be surprised if there's, like, some glitches. Sorry if I stutter. A I, I do have a stutter problem. Um, uh, or rather speech impediment I, I don't really know the difference to be honest uh, but yeah the shark just chose violence and now this dude on a boat was shooting at me so I took evasive maneuvers had to heal uh, I, he started running around the corner he shockwaved over here so I just came over here and you know basically I started blasting uh, when I was playing the match it looked a lot cooler than that it looked actually like I did like a quick slide and then shot him in the face uh, it was actually in the heat of the moment so like I can't be sure whether I did or didn't but it looked like I did and there's the pro fishing rod I needed it um, also, this is how I found out that if you have a keg on the ground, you cannot light a fireplace or the campfires because it's liquid and will douse them. I haven't had to think about that in a long time. Uh, so yeah, now I got reminded. I'm going to fast forward because there's just more fishing. I realized that I had two fishing poles because I dropped the harpoon launcher for the blue one. And here's where I'm going to have to choose violence again because someone started shooting.
And this is all happening while the storm is like encroaching. Yeah, I, I had to emote on the person that I killed. It feels good to do the the night where you bend a knee. It, it feels good to do that that emote after eliminating people. It's not toxic. It's like I'm paying you respect for the fight, you know. So, yeah, I I see it as a good thing. I didn't really think hunting the llama down through properly, so. I ran out of ammo shortly after this. Yep, see, I ran out of ammo. So I basically just started picking up the ammo that the llama dropped, but I was still on a mission. I had to catch some fish. So I wasn't chasing the llama. I decided to just keep going. Uh, did you know that, that the, the floaty chair, the, the pool chairs drop tires? I don't, it doesn't make sense, I guess, because they're bouncy, maybe? But yeah, it's it's weird. I didn't like it. So now the storm's coming in. I'm rushing to get more fish. I decided I had to go this way, but then I realized there's a river, so I just started following the river. I had to be really stealthy here because there was some fighting going on, you can hear it a little bit. It's sped up, but there's people with uh, the star Stormtrooper blasters going on, so here are, you see me crouching and just going along. I saw someone, so I had to switch out to a weapon. Then they didn't see me, so I went fishing. There was someone hiding in this bush, and so I eliminated them. I yeah, I third-partied them. I guess that's what that would be called. Uh, couldn't see where the other guy was, so I just kept going. I was initially attempting to jump on top of that wolf that I think was invisible on the screen, but I ended up jumping over it, so I just said screw it, and kept going, because I still had a mission I needed to catch fish. Scoping because I saw a tree get broken, and so here I am catching my fish, catching my fish, do do do, minding my own business, everyone's rushing to the circle. So, uh, around here, I start getting shot at, because there's, like, people around here, so I start having to improvise. Uh, well, I killed this NPC. It was, uh, Mar Mullet Marauder, but that, like, gave people away to my location, so I regretted it quite a bit, as you can see right here. Alright, and this guy's coming in on a thing, and as you can see, I'm running here on just shields. And killed them before they could grapple away. And there's someone running up here. And they had the Darth Vader lightsaber. So I quickly dispatched them, took the lightsaber, if it shows there. And I stopped becoming the angry fisherman and became the Jedi fisherman. So I had to heal. So I started running towards this temple, the ruins, to look for a food or healing source. And it turned out there was still a wolf chasing me that whole time. Uh, so while I'm trying to heal, that wolf comes up, starts chewing on the thing, so I started having a Star Wars fight with a wolf. I ended up winning. Got my health mostly up. Got my shields up. And it was time to continue my mission. 
I couldn't see anybody, nobody could see me, so I went down here to finish my mission with these last two fishing holes. I wanted to stock up on the shield fish, but then I realized the flopper would actually help me in the long run because I needed some heals. Then I picked the shield fish back up, and then while the storm is closing in, I did the last couple fishing I could do for the rest of the match and proceeded to strategically hide in a bush. Probably not the best bush I could have hi hid in. And then, while that person up there was not paying attention, I got into this tall grass. I realized that it wasn't quite in the circle, so I started running this way to find somewhere to hide. Because there were still a couple people left, I didn't want to die. And I heard someone coming up on me, so I decided to Jedi Mind Flip. And yeah, I just completely obliterated them. Then I turned into Darth Zerus and decided... Okay, well that's a visual glitch. Uh, basically, I lightsaber fought this person until they were dead. And then this person started coming up. I kept fighting them with the lightsaber eventually. They did the shockwave, so they got away. I used the opportunity to splash potion in order to get some of my health back. Notice them running. Got a cheeky little shotgun on them, did like 15 damage. Then I continued lightsabering them. And they died to fall damage. And after getting some shields and healing, I had an empty slot, so I picked up that flopper, got my health all the way up, and then picked up this golden SMG that I proceeded not to use for the rest of the match. There is only a couple, three people, two people other than me. So this person I saw hiding in the grass, they regretted getting found, so I kept fighting them. They tried grappling away, and then they landed right up there where I could see them, and got them. Now this last person is how I finished the challenge and got the Akatsuki gun wrap. Now, they're just hiding somewhere. I couldn't quite see where they were hiding, to be honest. I could hear footsteps the whole time, and I suppose they could hear mine as well, and at some point, they decided that they were done. So, as you can see, I am coming up to find them, because it sounded like they were coming out of this Jedi building, or Seven building. And as I'm coming up to here to look for them, I hear footsteps, and I see them running off into the grass, and they die. So that's how I got another Crown Victory Royale, as well as got the Akatsuki gun wrap for Naruto Rivals. Because I completed the Hinata Fishing Challenge, and, you know, it's my birthday, so I'm going to go enjoy it. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.